Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got another Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion Western Roman Empire Disaster Campaign. As per the usual, certain workarounds need to be done in order for this to even be recorded. So, let's get into the game and load the save file. Okay, so we're at 453 AD, and this campaign is basically on death's door. He's only got a handful of settlements left. Uh, Massilia, Rome, Syracuse, and Lepsis Magna. His armies have been practically destroyed, and Rome is under siege. And some of his settlements are pagan, which... It's not the end of the world to do that. Christianity is better in Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion because the buildings, you can get higher levels of public order. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, though. But it's just a personal preference thing. A lot of his characters are also pagan, so you just got to deal with it as you see fit. Okay, so how are we going to fix this? First thing, we have to get control of Italy. Now, I noticed here is the Vandals are actually his allies in this. So if you ever look at diplomacy, he's got the alliance with the Vandals and the Saxons, which is unusual. Uh, his only enemies are the Alemanni and the Western Roman Empire rebels. Now, in a single episode, there is no way in hell we're going to... Oh, the Sarmatians have made it all the way over to here. That's interesting. Apparently. No. No, that's Berbers. No, no, hang on. Terrakinese is owned by... by Sarmatians. But the Berbers own this settlement here. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, also, the thing to note is 453 AD is the, the typical death date of uh, the Western Roman Empire. So we have to, uh, we have to save it. Alright. Well, obviously we're going to have to lift this siege. I don't think I'm going to have to cheese it the way that I did in the previous episode when we did Western Roman Empire. Over here, we've got a decent number of generals' bodyguards. If we have a look at them, we've got a pagan, a Christian, a Christian, and a pagan. So, spreading Christianity is going to be difficult. This one here is fully pagan. We're probably better to just leave, lean into it. If he wants to convert it later down the track, he can. But right now, um, best to stick with whatever the majority is, just stick with that. Because you just want to maintain public order. You don't want that additional public order problem on top of it. But first thing, let's lift this siege here. So we could probably even order resolve that, but we definitely should manually resolve it because there's another other, there's another army on its way. So let's uh, sort this out. I think the first thing that we should do is go after Tarentum in the south. That that's, would be a really secure province for us to go and capture. Alright, I don't think sallying out from here is a great idea because sometimes they rush... Oh, hang on, hang on. Why don't we send our infantry out this way? And our cavalry... Yeah, can go out this way. Yep, including the carriage ballista. They can be pretty handy in this battle. Alright, cool. Maybe some of the towers will do some damage, but I'm not relying on that here. Because that, that works really well against those massive hordes. So we got timer here. No big deal, I don't think we need to worry about that. 44 minutes should be plenty. Yeah, it looks like they might get in range of the towers, maybe. Again, that's not what I'm necessarily trying to do here. Speed things up a bit. So any of the core Roman units can easily be retrained in a single turn, because we've got money, which is great, because usually a disaster gets sent in and I've got to somehow get that money, but that's not an issue here. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're shooting them. That's fine. If we can get them to rotate a little bit more. No, they're pivot points over here. I didn't think it would work, but that's fine. 
like I said, doing this works really well against massive armies, which it's not a small one, but I just don't think it's big enough to um, to rely on the towers. Because yeah, the big massive armies like the hordes that show up, they just don't have enough terrain awareness to, to avoid the towers. First thing we should use is the carriage ballista, try to uh, harass them, because this is long range missiles, I don't think they'll be able to outrange us, they've got some missile units of their own. And if they chase after us, then the towers will get them. Maybe just a little bit too loud. I'm gonna just drop this down just a little bit. Not that barely did anything. I didn't do much either, but I at least noticed it. Okay, good. The towers are shooting. That's great. That's just free kills that we're getting now. And oh god, I'm getting shot as well. That actually didn't work out so well for me. I just think we traded really poorly there. Because, yeah, they've got some chosen archers, and they probably have the same range as us. I thought we might be able to outrange them, but it doesn't look like it. Definitely getting some kills in there, that's good. But yeah, they can fire, they've got the same range, so we, we can't really, uh, we're not gonna win a skirmish here. Our guys die nearly instantly to those bloody archers. Okay, well that's not gonna work. All right, well, the other option is just charging on in. The Equity Sagittarii are not going to be able to skirmish. I'll be able to retrain that, so it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, we're not, Hang on, I got an idea. This guy here, get up on the wall. I might be able to shoot down at them. Yeah, we're getting some free kills, that's good. That's good. But if we can take out the Barbarian Noble Cavalry, that'd be really bloody good, because that's super dangerous. Mm, maybe I should have done nothing because they've moved back. Move forward, good. And we start getting some shots in there. Are they firing at us? Doesn't seem like it. Well, I've got them on fire at will, but the angle might just be a little bit off. I mean, that should have been really high up. What if we tried spreading them out a little bit? We're definitely gaining the upper hand slowly, so that's good. Mostly thanks to the towers. Guys here being goofy. Alright, okay. If they're shooting, that's good enough. Just, just let them stay there and shoot. What are they shooting at? Looks like they're shooting over here. Oh, that's fine. Don't think they're going to get many kills on that, though. Because they're in loose formation. Let's get this one up on the wall as well. It seems to be working. It's all just about minimizing our casualties, maximizing theirs, so that our army doesn't cost as much to retrain, because we don't have tons of money. I've only got about six grand to work with. So once that's gone, can't do much more with it. We need to immediately go and exterminate a settlement in order to just get some money. And Tarentum looks pretty juicy right now. Okay, this one's out of ammo. I really don't know how many kills they got. I don't think it was much, but anything's better than nothing. Yeah, they're getting some kills. That's good. Chosen Axeman, that's a good unit to shoot at. Because these are armor piercing here, so their armor's cut in half. The towers aren't shooting anymore. Lombard archers. So I think these are long-range missiles. Let me have a look. Yeah, long-range. So those were the ones that were probably shooting at the uh, the carriage ballista. What would be even better, though, is dealing with their cavalry. If I can gain cavalry superiority, 
that'd be a winning formula for us, because those are good cavalry. And I've only got three units of cavalry here, and theirs outnumbers us. So, that could be a real big problem for us. Okay, just, just shoot it, whatever. I really want them to shoot at this one, but they just won't. Give them the shoot order, and yeah, they just they can't see them. It's too high up. I think the biggest problem is actually the archers. If I can get rid of their archers somehow, then... Let me try this, actually. If I move this guy over here... If I get rid of their archers, I could use my horse archers to har harass their cavalry. Although, if this keeps up, they'll probably just leave the battlefield soon. Yep, cool. They're good enough, good enough. Wait. <laughs> they can't make up their mind? That's, that's fine. Alright, let's pick off some stragglers. No, we're not going to get them in time. Cool. At least the, the the siege is lifted. Good enough. Minimal casualties from us. Victory! Yeah, they're not coming back anytime soon. And there is another army on the way, so we've got to be mindful of that. What do we got in here? We got a spy. Okay, whatever. Alright, so retraining the carriage ballista is going to cost only 462, not that big of a deal. But like I said, I need to get to Tarentum over here. We've got two generals in here. If we took them out of the settlement, how bad is the public order going to be? It's actually not so bad. Problem here is that I can't get them across, so we're going to have to hire a ship. Just a buy ream will do. I'll just have to stay there for the turn. Get them over here with three generals. It depends on what they've got in here. If they've got, like, spam of generals, which I don't think is going to be the case. It's going to be really difficult to deal with. Um, we don't have time to raise a full army. And if we have a look over here, there's there's nothing here. Yeah, this is just... <laughs> we just don't have much to work with. Uh, but we've got something to work with here, so we're going to deal with that. I'm going to recruit a unit of peasants and lower the taxes. Sir. Let's just make sure that the public order will maintain. Forward. Yeah, it will be when we're gone. In fact, I think we can keep the taxes where it was. Hmm. Should probably repair that. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Only three units. Cool, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's go sort that out. I usually don't use battering rams in Rome Total War because... Or well, at least on stone walls, because they just have such a high chance of getting burnt down. Okay, shouldn't be too hard to deal with that. Unless another army pops out of nowhere and attacks us. Do we have any mercenaries? No. But we need to be aggressive here. Sitting around and being defensive is probably what got him into this situation. Sir. This guy here is just going to have to wait for reinforcements. There's no way he's going to be able to handle Tarentum by himself. And over here, I don't think we should go and attack this guy right now. That one's going to stay put. We need to prepare for another siege. So retrain... I think that's just going to give them armor upgrades. Well, whatever, do it anyway. And I'd say let's go with the Sarmatia Auxilia. Not another carriage ballista. Yeah, they take two turns. We need something that's going to take only one turn to recruit. Alright, we'll go with that. In terms of construction... Uh, what should we get? Because we've got a little bit of money. We should really go for the highest value thing. So something that's going to yield the most amount of return on investment for him. Dockyards are definitely good, but it's an expensive building. That's useless on Syracuse. This doesn't do anything. All right, we'll build the dockyards here because he, if he gets some more money, he'll be able to have more troops. With more troops, you'll be able to fight better against these guys. All right. Well, we're just going to have to wait and see how this plays out. We're going to be in the negative next turn. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, queue up one of these, because that'll preserve that 
that money so that that I don't actually know if that recruitment will go through. I'm not used to being in this situation. If we attack this next turn, I should be able to exterminate it for enough money. Let me have a look. I'm not just population like. Can't tell. Uh, but hopefully we'll get enough money that we should be okay. So we'll, we'll just see how that plays out there. Uh, can we increase the taxes here? Yep. Okay, just for the turn. And as for this settlement, I don't know. If the Berbers come over here, just whatever. I can't really do anything about it. Focus on what we can win, not on what we can't. Um, this is embarrassing. <laughs> but, there is an interesting thing that you can do in this situation. If you're willing to swallow your pride, you can accept this. Along with, potentially, a big payment. Since we're not besieging any of their settlements... Like ten grand can go a long way. I can just, I can just stab him in the back. However, what this will do is it'll cancel the siege here because we'll get pulled out of that war. Um, we'll probably make more money from that siege than this. So yeah, nah. We're under siege. Yeah, because we're probably going to make more than 10 grand there. Well, it depends on the population. If there's only 5,000 people there, then we won't. Anyway, it's, uh, it's done now. Alright, drop those taxes down. Is this getting recruited? Yeah, putting the money in there preserved that uh, recruitment. Okay, we need to get these guys over here. Good, that maintains... Yeah, bring them over here. And as for you, I don't need you anymore. Alright, you can't disband them. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, well, go back over there and be disbanded. I just need to bring those guys over here. Alright, get over to Tarentum. We'll see if I can manage to capture it. I might hire some mercenaries, if I can get some money. Uh, the mercenary ballista could be useful for launching the siege. But we will see. Alright, let's start with this siege here. Let's see what they've got. Alright, it's all... Oh, God. Easy. Alright, no problem here. No problem at all. Uh, probably not a good idea to auto-resolve it. But it would definitely save a lot of time. So that's what I'm going to do. Ugh, I would have done a lot better than that. Oh, good. There we go. Like I said, financially, that's sorted this out. Okay. Yeah, we'll repair that. Good, that got us into the finances for a bit. Having a look at this, that is probably winnable with what we've got. We did take a lot of damage, so if we just wait here for one turn, they'll probably besiege and then we can just sally out and it'll actually be easier that way. And that'll give us a chance to recruit another unit. Come with the Tensies, take one turn, plus we'll be able to retrain that. It's seemingly relying a fair bit on mercenaries, which is not ideal. Okay, well, we're going to lift this again. So, Bounce of Power is in our favor. Shouldn't be too difficult. They do have a fair bit of cavalry, which is always the main thing that I worry about whenever I'm in these sort of situations. But it's just got to get done. This is not an order resolve. We've got to fight it manually. Once again, I think the army is too small to rely entirely on using the towers. But obviously, if we can get a few shots off on the towers, and we'll do that. You know, we've got a larger army this time, so that definitely helps. Try to organize it so it's nice and comfy. Alright, so infantry this time. Stand over here. Okay, and we'll bring these guys... Oh, hang on. Oh, and whoops, I did that wrong. Yeah, that'll be fine. No, it won't. Oh, I definitely like being able to just click and drag my formations around in the unit cards. Biggest downside of ultra unit scale is dealing with this crap. Okay, that'll do. Let's get him out. 
Okay. Let's get these two guys here up on the wall and see what they do. What are we dealing with here? There's a lot of cavalry. Got some spears, some dogs. Spears, longer spears. Cav. 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 Okay, no missile units that I'm seeing. Unless they're hidden. I didn't really look at their, <laughs> their army composition. Probably should have. But I think we can actually use the carriage ballista here. Because they're really good against cavalry as long as they don't get caught by cavalry. Get them organized. Good. We can see that the towers have already started. Yeah, the fact that you start off with these epic stone walls at the beginning of the Rome Tem Total War Barbarian Invasion campaign makes Rome very difficult to lose as long as whenever you come under siege, you always sally out. Don't wait for them to launch the attack. Oh yeah, this is, this is great. They're probably just going to run away in a minute. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to come over here. Can we quickly get over here and run them down? Don't know if I'm going to make it there in time. No, I don't think I'm going to make it in time. No. Oh, got to the dogs. The gods be praised. Oh, uh, that was kind of useless. Whatever. Didn't lose anyone, so that's good. And at least the siege is lifted. You always want to make sure that you don't maintain these sieges for a really long time because it blocks all your trade. You can see there we gained over 1,000 gold just by doing that. Now, funny thing is, this rebel that just showed up here actually kind of benefits us because now it's going to be more difficult for them to get over here. That being said, it also blocks us. So these guys here, let's have a look at them diplomatically because they're taking a settlement that really should belong to us. They are our allies. And I don't want to screw this guy over. He's, he is at war with the Alemanni. So... It's, he should not be holding on to a Western Roman Empire capital of Ravenna. That should not be happening. But I just... I can't screw him over this way. So maybe maybe actually I should bring this Byrene back over to Rome. And maybe instead we'll sail over to... The Berbers took Sardinia. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look like they're going to hold it. Okay. Alright, so over here, we want to retrain all the units that we can. Yep, give upgrades. Could sell out and probably beat that now, but let's just see how things play out. And recruit a unit of Sarmatian Auxilia. These are really good troops. Especially against the Western Roman Empire rebels. Oh, okay, we've actually got a ship here. Yeah, we got to be careful. Huge bloody pirate ship. Absolutely huge. Just leave it. How are we going for finances now? So we are still losing money each turn. Okay, but at least Massilia is looking good. How are we going over here? It's another pagan settlement. So Mithras. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. We can increase the taxes here for this turn. Imperator. So Medialanium. With what we've got here, because there's a lot of cavalry in these forces here, I think we should still recruit some more some more Sarmatian Auxilia. No one's going to besiege us this turn. But yeah, just keep an eye on, on all this. Do you know what would be good, actually, is if the Alemanni actually took Ravenna, and then we could take Ravenna without having to break the alliance from the Vandals. It's kind of weird. In the previous one, the Vandals were our main enemy, and now they're actually our allies. Okay, so over here, I don't think we need to... I guess we could recruit Sarmatian Auxilia and just send them over. Just so we can recruit a bit faster. Okay, and then down here, yeah, just... I don't know. Don't know what to do about this. The more money we pump into this... Hang on, how much, how much money is this settlement making? It's not nothing. You, we could convert this to Christianity. We could. The public order is good enough. Uh, you'd have to convert it to Christianity... First. You need a Christian character over here. If we have a look at this, this settlement here is Christian. Eh, probably not worth worrying about right now. Maybe just, just leave it as it is. 
if I hit this, it'll be uh, converted to Christianity, and then we'll have massive public order problems and have to require races. Not worth it. Not worth it. Maybe, maybe just um, the. None of this stuff is going to provide much value. Definitely don't want the uh, the communal farming right now. A huge city population. No, no, no. We don't want that right now. Um, maybe go with more trade. But then again, we need our money for military. I just don't see this as being a viable option to, to hold on to right now. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. You know, if we were rich, we could. But we're not. So we can't. Um, we're not going to lose Massilia. And if we do lose Massilia, we'll take it back straight away. So constructing here makes sense. So put the dockyard in here. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, we will be in the negative next turn, but only by a little bit. But then we're going to march out from here and continue to fight. We should be able to capture... T oh, yeah. I was going to hire a mercenary, wasn't I? Because without a mercenary, I can't launch the attack. I'll have to wait for them to sally out. Unless I send another unit over there to reinforce them. Like... Well, I'm going to need multiple units in order to... Yeah. Alright, I got an idea with that. I got an idea. I'm going to use the cheese. Okay, they're backing off. Oh, they want to go over to Massilia. It's not as well defended. Alright, so you... Fleet ready! Yes, Captain! No more move, sir! Okay. Yeah, they're holding on to that. Alright, let's have a look sir. here. All right, we'll besiege it General, with all three of them. Engage the enemy. We're not going to be Besieging able to launch it because they can't hold on to siege equipment. Someone Don't have any money. Sir. Oh, oh, that is some serious trash. Okay, um, I think I can still get them to sally out, but it won't be this turn. Okay, let's get moving. General, let's leave behind sir. all the infantry, and that way we can move a bit faster. Just go around. Excuse me. Go around the um, the rebels. And we'll use total mobility to try to get to Mediolanium. Which I won't be able to arrive there this turn. Could stay here and go into ambush. And I usually don't bother with that in... Oh, hang on, hang on. If I go through here, that actually gets us pretty close to Mediolanium. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's stay right here. That way they'll go into ambush dance, I think. I very rarely did that in room one. All right, so we've recovered here. These guys have stood still. We should be able to defeat them. The closest settlement... Okay, these guys here, they're neutral. So this settlement here is a nice huge city. Berdigala. Bordeaux. Bordeaux. I don't know. Capturing that seems like a good option. Orders, General. Sir, Imperator, forward. And I would uh, leave a peasant behind if I could recruit it. Right. Which I can't, so I'm gonna have to leave a mercenary behind. Not ideal. Uh, leave the leave the, uh, the crossbow. Actually, which one's cheaper? There, yeah, leave the crossbow. Bring these two guys. Alright, if if this one joins this army, I won't be able to launch the attack, so just stay there for this turn. Just try to catch up. Alright, the bouncer power is not in our favor, but only by a little bit. They're mostly infantry, but the problem here is that they've got a lot of experience. So even if we kill the enemy general, they're not going to immediately rout. We're going to have to be super aggressive here, though. All right, this should be fine. Let's do this. Some of our generals might die, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. The sun All right, we'll keep our infantry here. Probably not going to rely on them too much. I'm going to send a detachment of three cavalry around one flank and three cavalry around the other. The first thing that we need to try to do is kill the enemy general. There he is at the back there. At least he's easy to spot because he's the only cavalry unit here. Alright, these two move back. If we can draw them over this way, that'd be good. Yeah, bounce power's not great. So, Sarmatian Auxilia are pretty damn good cavalry. But our Imperial German bodyguards should be better than them. 
Once again, I have no idea what the battle difficulty is here. Given this guy seems like a bigger noob than the other one. I, I don't mean that as an insult. It's just... Let me just put it another way then. Seems like he's less experienced than the previous one that sent in a disaster. I'm assuming it's on lower battle difficulties. But again, I, I just don't know. They're trying to react to us. I can see them shooting at us a little bit, but their archers are trash and we're heavily armored, so I don't think that's going to be a huge problem. I don't like fighting in forests in Rome 1. What is it? Warhammer. Alright, these guys look like they've made it over there. I'm going to hit them in the rear. Because, yeah, we don't have much of a chance of routing them unless we kill the enemy general. You guys come back around this way, and I'll see if I can cut off his escape. It's like a bloody Kamatatensi javelins, but can't be helped. No, he's getting away. No way for a leader to behave, but it uh, it's not the end of the world if he does get away. But it's definitely not what I would prefer. See, even the peasants here are fighting and not breaking straight away, which is not what you want to see. Alright, they're possibly going to catch him, possibly. If he runs off the battlefield, that definitely will cause a morale penalty. And we don't need to kill him for the sake of wiping out the entire army. Move out of the way. I'm really not thinking that we're going to catch him. Alright, just back off for a sec. What are these? Okay. Alright, in terms of percentages, I think we got the upper hand there. And at least their captain has left the battlefield, so he's not going to be providing any more morale for them. And hopefully all of this shuffling around has made them a little bit tired. That definitely does help. It's made us a little bit tired as well. Uh, that's, that's Spearman. We should think twice about that. Alright, the enemy general has left the battlefield. Now might actually be a good opportunity to route this one. But what you want to do is you don't want to charge into them because they, they cause a massive amount of like anti-charge. You want to just walk into them. Nah, it's not going to work. They just got too much morale. Okay, they're, they're starting to break now. That one was always going to do some damage to us. Come on, break them. Okay, got them in the end there. But we can see here that they're not particularly tired. It's good to see that those Preventores are wavering. Men are wavering. And that charge, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we just get freaking killed on the charge. We didn't break them. Oh, we broke them when we pulled out. Alright, these guys here, they're getting winded. Back off a little bit. Still got our guys over here as well. I'm starting to feel like this is actually not on lower battle difficulties due to how poorly our combat has been so far. It must be on higher battle difficulties, but again, hard to say. Because I know on lower battle difficulties, when you charge into a unit with heavy cavalry like this, they usually absolutely obliterate them. Now, I'm fairly sure, unlike in Warhammer, when the enemy general has fled the battlefield, that's a permanent morale penalty on the enemy here. Okay, I gotta get rid of these damn archers. Yeah, 
Yeah, see all that experience is really coming in handy there, even though we're charging into them. Just not really dishing out much damage. Right, go after the uh, archers there. Experience makes such a big difference in Rome Total War. This is a very experienced army. Okay, get around this army, uh, this part of the army here. Good, we're taking out their archers. If our guys could just hold on for a little bit, we'll rear charge them. Guys routed there. It's not ideal. Our cavalry's quite tired. Good, we routed those coming to Tensies. Good. Can get you guys over here. Good, we're starting to cause a lot more routing now. That's what we want to see. Get back over here. So far, none of our generals have died, which is good. Come on, break this one. Good, and that's a first cohort as well. Oh, this guy here routed. Ugh. Well, at least he didn't die. Because our general's only got one star as well. That being said, their general had no stars. But just experienced units. I really feel like this guy here was just really passive in his campaign. Guy's sitting around just doing nothing. Just sitting there slamming the end turn. Alright, bounce power's looking a little bit better. Is there any other units to run down? What are these? Okay, yeah, we gotta take that out. Might be a good opportunity as well, actually, to take a breather. Our guys are getting quite tired. Back off a little bit. Okay, just draw them that way while these guys have a, just a little bit of a breather. Get right there to the map. Oh, that's right, these guys have really long range sort of javelins there. Ah, bloody coward. Alright, I'm going to have to charge into this. This is just going to keep shooting us. Good, got it. They're not giving me a chance to uh, rest now. The bouncer power has improved, so we're getting there. Definitely taking a beating. As long as none of our generals die, it's fine. Come back. Okay, good. Those comatitensies are exhausted. And our guys here... Still got javelins. Our guys have some fatigue left. Alright, hitting this one here seems like the right call. Given the numerical superiority of us here, we should just be able to charge into it and it, it should route. Killed 78% of them. 
It looks like they're getting ready to leave the battlefield. Now, if we want to wipe them out utterly, we need to get to 85%. So wipe out one more of their units, and then let them leave the battlefield. Yeah, it does look like they're preparing to leave. Because, yeah, in Rome 1, the AI will totally... As soon as the balance of power is not in their favor anymore, they just leave the battlefield. Now, these guys here are exhausted. So if we get a good rear charge on... Combat intensities would be better than taking out the... Uh, Plumbatario, I think. Just charge him in the rear with all of them. Should work. Them, and that should be all that we need to take out. So just let them leave. The AI is not aware of the 85% threshold. So looking at that, 87%. Cool. Uh, should we maybe take on one more? What's going on here? Why are you... Oh, we, I think we got bugged. Yeah, we got bugged. <laughs> so there's a bug in Rome Total War where there's like a unit that dies, but then it doesn't fully die. Yeah, you can see here, Combat Tentancy dead, zero units. Uh, it's a good thing that the battle is essentially over, because, yeah, that's annoying. And it can be very difficult to get out of it. But, yeah, it, it does look like they're just going to leave the battlefield now, so we'll just let them run off. Should wipe them out. But, yeah, none of our generals died. Got a few casualties on the Sarmatian Auxilia, which it would be good to send them back to the city to be retrained. Just don't have any money, so can't do that. Not unless I demolish the buildings. I guess I could get rid of some trash that we don't need. But let's we'll have a look and see what's what's there. The God cool. Yeah, 87%. They should be fully wiped out. Cool. None of our generals died. Ooh, we... We took their eagle. <laughs> don't think it really does anything, but yeah, we took their eagle. So it's sitting in here at the moment. Doesn't seem to do anything for the city itself. Yeah, we got the eagle. Okay, so... I'd like to keep moving up this way, but I want to retrain... Oh, it recovered a fair bit of its casualties. This one here's lagging behind a bit. Sir. Okay. So in order to get that money needed, I'd have to probably make about two grand. I really don't want to demolish any of that. But if you ever look at another turn, it's still going to go down even further. Orders. How strong are the Western Roman Empire rebels? Pretty damn strong. And without any further intel, don't we have some spies or something out here? No. We got spy over here. Yes, master. Mm. Secrecy is assured. Maybe best considering that these guys are coming over this way, that we should just stay here. At the end of the day, we do have plans here and here for settlement capture. But I think pushing out this way may actually overextend us. If we capture this settlement here, this should put our finances back under control. Especially if we capture Medialanium as well. That's a good settlement. Alright, well I can't see anything else I can do because I'm out of money. So let's see how we go. Cool, they took out our rebels for us. Ready to ambush. Okay, and we were in ambush. General. Okay, this one here is probably thinking about coming back this way. We didn't lose quite as much money as it said. Alright, so to do this cheese that I want to do, we want to take the smallest number general, so let's see. Preferably a good amount of command. And then just bring him over, over here. Now what they should do is just sally out because they'll only detect him. Otherwise we're looking at a pretty long siege, which isn't ideal. 
Because I can't launch the attack. I don't have any um, infantry. And I don't have enough money to recruit any infantry. Alright, we can go for Mediolanium. Same sort of thing. This is massive bloody garrison there. Absolutely massive. If I besiege it, they'll possibly sally out. That's a lot of work to deal with. That's, it's, it's a lot of cavalry. Burgundian lances. Bloody hell. Definitely don't want to go for our allies. Orders. Thing is, uh, if I besiege this, I will... Also, I don't have any infantry here either. <laughs> it's just limited. I, I didn't bring the infantry because it would have taken us longer to get there. So we're just going to have to see how this goes. I'm going to just go besiege it and hope that they sally out. See how serious they are about defending the settlement. Otherwise it's a long siege, which is not preferable. But we'll just have to see how that plays out. Because yeah, my options are limited. Quite limited. There's a fort up here. Hmm. I may have to just risk it. I mean, at the end of the day, we got a lot of good cavalry. We can't just leave all the infantry behind. We got to move fast. Just got to move. Because otherwise, if you just sit here, it's just going to bleed out money. We've got a spy, but if here's the problem: if you use a spy on like a walled city, it doesn't stop the um. The boiling oil, so when you're trying to run through the gate, you just get absolutely wrecked. So, not ideal to use a spy in that situation. If these guys here besiege Rome, it's not ideal, but you could... It sh should be okay. I don't think they're going to. Plus, this guy here wouldn't be able to arrive right in time. It's more likely that he would take this a bit more seriously. But then again, I'm not sure. Okay, let's move on. So they didn't sell it out. Oh, no, they did sell it out. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so... Okay. So this happens when you besiege a settlement with less balance of power than the than the garrison. Basically, you get Stannis Baratheon. However, if you bring lots of cavalry, you can overcome those odds. If you just bring nothing but infantry, you're probably going to get Stannis Baratheon. So, looking at this, they do have a lot of cavalry, but... Not too many cavalry archers, so I reckon the carriage ballista will be able to rip them to shreds as they're trying to come in. Alright, let's see what we can do here. We need to get a proper win if we want to capture the settlement. It's not good enough to call it a draw. Because otherwise we're just going to have to wait those nine turns to sally out. And that's really the situation that this this called for. Just you got to have balls. you gotta, you got to make these aggressive attacks with not overwhelming strength because you just don't have it in these situations. Alright, we've got four archers, so... We also need to steer very clear of the towers. These aren't ballista towers here, but still need to steer clear of them. Alright, so we'll start with the carriage ballistas. So what's coming out here? These are infantry. Uh... Honestly, anything that we shoot is good. Bounce of power here is not great. Another problem that we're probably going to face here is that when units break, we're not going to be able to run them down because this is weird pathfinding thing in Rome 1 and Medieval 2, whereas if you don't have a clear pathway because you haven't captured the gates, you can't run down because they can't predict where the unit's going. So we'll be able to break them and then we'll just have to let them run back into the city, sort of. It's a bit weird. But this is good, this is good. This is not a unit that we want our melee cavalry to charge into, and we don't want the Equity Sagittario shooting into them because they, I believe they've got shields. Yeah. And you can't block these shots with shields. I would have preferred to be shooting at cavalry, but honestly, I'll take whatever I can get. Especially ahead of those Lombard archers. Uh... You two just hold on. Okay, it kind of looks like the AI is bringing out their cavalry over this side. Yeah, they're, well, they're starting to. That's fine. If they want to come out a little bit at a time, that's that's not a problem for me. So 
So yeah, in the right circumstance, the carriage ballista are really good. This is the exact right unit for them to go after. And they're surprisingly accurate as well. Okay, stop. Now, if I tell this one to attack... Oh no, he's still going after it. Okay, that's good. Okay, do that then. Alright, we've got to watch out for the Lombard archers over here, but we'll draw them away from the uh, the walls. Obviously, if we chase after them, if we go fight in the walls, we're just going to take extra damage. Oh yeah, look at that, he's actually running them down. That's good. I'm sure that that bug will trigger at some point. But good, one full unit wiped out. Okay, we got someone incoming over here. What is this? Cavalry. Also, they're running around a lot, so they're going to be tired. So if we keep our guys nice and still, we can maintain being fresh. Which is really important. Fatigue is essential in Rome Total War. As we've seen in like the previous battle, when we're exhausted, our guys really slow down a lot. It also heavily impacts on morale. Now, in Medieval 2, morale is not that big... Sorry, not morale. Um, fatigue is not that big of a deal on cavalry until they hit exhausted. But this is so far so good. If the timer runs out, it'll just be a draw. But we'll miss our opportunity to get the settlement. So we need to win within 41 minutes. So no pussyfooting around. I don't believe that Warhounds are good against Cavalry, so I'm not worried about that. Alright, speed this up. You can see there that the bounce power just ticked over a little bit. What that means is that they're getting tired, because they're not taking casualties. Just gotta wait for the right opportunity to charge in, which is not right now. It's good that so many of their units are still lagging behind. It definitely would be good to kill the enemy general, but if these guys are exhausted, then that's just as good as having killed the enemy general. Of course, if we do both, that's even better. Alright, I want them on fire at will now. Right, these are just Barbarian Cavalry, they are very low priority units. So I wouldn't worry about them too much. Because yeah, Bouncer Power was not in our favor. Gotta be careful. Alright, they do have some Missile Cav over here. I'm gonna send the Melee Cav. Yeah, I'm gonna charge in over here. Because their infantry is over this way and it's far away from the walls. I think we should be fine. They, they should be reasonably tired now as well. I'm just going to punch right through. While these guys draw the bulk of their infantry away. It's okay, these don't matter. Take out these Burgundian Lancers. I saw they're very tired. That is awesome for us. Massive morale penalties for them. And also combat penalties. So they're just not going to fight well. Okay. That was good. Let's move back. Good. These cavalry here are getting obliterated. That is awesome. Getting a little bit shot by their archers. Still, their, their general's lagging behind. He would have honestly been the first pick for killing. And if we're patient enough, we could still do that. We'll just wait for him to catch up. These guys here are a little bit winded. Cool, just um, let them have a bit of a rest while they continue to run. Let's move back. Still got plenty of ammo, we should definitely try to use it. But yeah, I think our biggest concern is those chosen archers. We really need to have a heavy cavalry charge against them, and I need to ensure that when that does happen, we break them instantly. 
these spearmen here are going to be a bit of a problem if they're in amongst them, if we do that charge. So if we can shoot them first, that would be great. If we can, if we can do that. So guys, yeah, it's still winded. We're definitely not strong enough that we could just charge in there. No way, not yet. waiting for good opportunities, just not really seeing them. If I get in too close, then their archers, their archers outrange us, so we gotta be careful here. And they'll rip to shreds the carriage blister, which we saw in the first battle that we fought. It's good to see that the general is catching up, and he's gonna move ahead of the rest of the army, because the AI is stupid in these Saliat battles, which is exactly what I was counting on. You know, fight them in their worst situations, not when they're strongest. You know, if you're not playing a disaster situation, by all means, do whatever you want. But if you're in a disaster, you know, you need to claim some advantages. Okay, good. He's coming in. Chosen Warlord. Nice. And our Ballista Carriage should do really well against him if they actually decide to target him. Killing him. If we kill him, then we can charge right their infantry and it should be fine because they should be exhausted by now. Right, we've got a whole bunch of cavalry coming around the flanks here. We're, we've recovered a little bit of fatigue, but not much. Gundy and Lance is charging at us. Keep running back. Come on, guys, you're going to need to move a bit faster. They're coming at us. Good. Good, good, good. How tired is he? We haven't seen yet. Good, they've left all their infantry behind. It's exactly what I was counting on. Separate their best units from their worst. Take out their best units first. And then their worst will basically be nothing. Good. Don't run. I want you guys to stand behind them. Let the missile units do their job. They're doing a really good job at the moment. You did well by recruiting this one. This was uh, very useful for this battle. I don't imagine the Equity Sagittarii doing a hell of a lot of damage to the general, but this one here definitely is. That one looks like it's exhausted. They're, they're not moving very quick at all. How did we lose someone? Did we get friendly fire? That's annoying. It's like someone just got, like, just lagged behind and must have got shot. I don't know. It happens. The lag spike, no big deal. Alright, we should be at a point that if we were to charge at them, it should be fine. But since we've got ammunition, let's try to use it. They're starting to catch up. Stop firing. We're going to charge in now. Just wait for them to finish that volley and charge in. Here we go. Go straight for the Chosen Warlord, because if we kill him, the rest of this battle should be easy. And yeah, he's exhausted, which means he doesn't stand a chance. Come on, kill him. Need to kill him. Don't rout him. 
Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. Uh, the bug happened. We can't target him properly. Let's get at least most of his bodyguard are gone. Oh, we got him. Good. We got him. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Now, if we can just route all of the army all at the same time, we don't need to kill them all. Because they'll go into the town square and rally at that point. Alright, you guys can fire at will and shoot at them. We're going in here, charging after the archers, which are ahead of the spearmen, which is very good for us. Just staying a big dumb blob like this works fine. I don't think they're going to get close to our guys. I think they'll route before they get close. Good, start a mass route. Should be able to get them all broken real quick. Good, broke, 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 good. Even this one here should break fairly easily. Especially if we have... Just touch their flanks. Just touch them in the flank. They should go. How's our guys? Steady. No, that's not ideal. Hit that one in the rear. Got doggos there attacking us. Good. Good, good, good. Routed them. Can we run them down? Probably not. They're getting run down. That's good. Okay, bouncer power's in our favor, but we haven't won yet. Like I said, we still need to route them all simultaneously, and that's a, a tricky part when there's loads of units and we can't pathfind properly. God, they're not doing so well. Chosen Axemen. Oh, those are just the mercenary equities. They're not some big deal. This one here actually did actually take some more damage. Oh well. Uh, you might want to stay away from those towers. Alright, well, we've nearly won the battle, but now the sort of tricky part comes where we have to somehow route them all simultaneously. Obviously any unit that we can wipe out will speed up that process a little bit. We have to draw them away from, from there. We don't want to get boiling oil poured all over us. Luckily, there's still plenty of time left on the clock. The biggest problem is going to be the enemy cavalry because it's going to be hard to catch them. And then on top of that, might not even be able to get them because of the, uh, the pathfinding bug. See if we can catch up to them and run them down. No, they won't do it. Like I said, they just won't do it. Uh, running them all down simultaneously. Oh, hang on, let me go Move back. Okay, I'm gonna send a detachment around over this way to hit these guys. Oh God, running these all simultaneously is gonna be a big problem. That side of the wall is actually not so bad for us. Probably going to take some damage from the towers, but we got to get rid of some of these units. Run them down, run them down, run them down, run them down. 
they actually got the better of us there, because all I did was break them. Not ideal. Not ideal. Yeah, it's a bit of an issue here. How do we win this? We can't get inside the settlements. It's not possible. It's not impossible, actually. And if they keep coming at us in waves, the time is just going to run out. Like I said, it's not impossible. It'll, it'll cost us some men, for sure. So what if we did it with the Mercenary Equities Veterani? I might be able to sneak inside the settlement. Definitely going to take some damage, like I said. Let's just wait and see a little bit. If we could rout everything all at the same time, that'd be great. But they're, they're coming at us in waves, which is not what we want here. Because now is the point. I can't kill them. Because they come over here, they instant route, and then I can't run them down. They're just, they're just not pathfinding properly. We're way faster than this unit. It just refuses to, to go for it. Alright, we're going in. There's only one way we can win this, and that's if we get inside. And it's going to cost us some men, but... Okay, gate's open. We gotta go inside. Go now before it shuts. You two as well. Get in. We're not gonna capture the gate. Yeah, we're gonna take some boiling oil damage. No, oh, we didn't. We didn't get in. Oh, hang on. Did we? Went in, 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 inside. In you go. Yep, I know. Just don't break while you're in here. Luckily, relatively experienced units in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> like I said, I don't want to have to do this. Come on. Not ideal at all. And we've got to get away from the walls. Come on, move. The fucking pathfinding in this. Oh, there's a handful of them still outside there. Yeah, the pathfinding's just killing us here. These guys here should be able to beat some barbarian cavalry. But these ones, they are just not moving over here because they are partially stuck. <laughs> Come on, I need you over here. Because, yeah, in order to... Um, Okay, we could win via timeout, potentially, but I can see there's another unit on its way. Uh, and our guys just can't pathfind at all. <laughs> They're right over here. Alright, I don't know if this guy's... I don't know if eight of our guys are going to beat 22 of theirs, but at least our guy... Oh, he's exhausted as well. But if we want to cap it, we need to take out that unit. Because this one here is not coming in. I keep telling it to, it's not doing it. They're not going to win that. Just didn't send enough guys in. The, the gate didn't stay open long enough. And this one got obliterated as well. Very costly, that. Okay, but at least we wiped out a bunch of units. <laughs> we can try and go for attempting that again. Or maybe with the Sarmatian Auxilia. The gate's open at the moment. The thing is, anybody that we send in there is probably going to get wiped out. But the alternative is a very long siege. Go, 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 go. 
Get in, quick. Okay, I think we're mostly in. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, this one's in. This is a better unit than the other one that came in before. God, you get obliterated by those backward towers. Looks like it might actually wipe out their entire army. Okay, there's just one more unit over here. I think it's a piece of crap unit as well. Now they're gonna make it. Burgundian lances. We've won. We've won. We got them. There we go. Oh, definitely costly. But it's worth it because you get Mediolanium back. Yeah, I do not like doing that. I mean, in desperate situations. But uh, there's uh, nine grand. Let's take it. And they're going to do that same thing over here. This will be a bit easier, I think. Yeah, definitely don't do that. Yeah, this one will be a bit easier, because we've only really got one general that we've got to kill, and the rest of the peasants will be easy to deal with. Getting inside the settlement, once again, is not a good option. Your reinforcements have arrived! This is hopeful news indeed! Alright, let's immediately go and meet up with the rest of them. Maybe just meet us halfway here. That way this guy gets a bit of time to recover his fatigue. First unit that we should take out is definitely going to be the enemy general. We can see where he is. Let's come around this side over here. Alright, maybe we should actually go a bit more this way. And he should be running, so he should be tired by the time he gets here. Not completely exhausted. And then the rest of them are peasants. If we can manage to rout them all at the same time, this should be much quicker and easier than that previous battle. Not gonna fight him near those towers. Forget that. Ah, damn it, he's sitting around recovering fatigue. Well, even if he's fresh, we'll still be able to beat him. We're just gonna have to wait for his reinforcements to show up, these guys. Yeah, he'll be fresh now. I thought he'd just rush straight at us, but no such luck. He wants to wait until his army's properly formed. Because, yeah, we've seen what happens when we try to get into these settlements. This is why I kind of like the Medieval 2 system better, because the towers require an, a unit to actually activate. Don't go wrong, I still don't have a massive problem with this. I just prefer Medieval 2 system. Doing this te technique is uh, a lot less risky in that game. Right, just wait for all their guys to come in, and then they're just rushing straight at us. Cool, they'll probably be warmed up by the time they get here. Let's fall back a little bit more. Want them as far away from those peasants as possible, giving us plenty of time to kill him. What are, you, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? He wants to try to flank us. Not gonna happen, you need more cavalry in order to flank us. Alright, instead, we've got him flanked. You know, whenever you guys are ready, charge in. Of the enemy 
general with fear. Come on, get him to fight to the death. Yes, if we can wipe out every last one of them. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Okay, now. Just draw them as far away out from the city walls as possible. So there's no chance for them to rally. Because we're probably going to struggle to run them down. Just due to the bug. Now, funny thing here is, we probably shouldn't just charge into them, and what we do is walk into them, because there's this weird thing that happens. When you charge into infantry with cavalry, no matter what the infantry, you always have a chance of dying, unless you just walk right into it. Now, you're not going to cause as much morale damage, but we probably don't need to in this, because they're just peasants. So don't charge, just walk. Or run. But don't, don't issue charge orders. And I think we should run them down just for experience sake. Or that being said, yeah, they're not going to run them down. Anyway, the battle's over. We won. Like I said, much easier that time. Victory! All right, and there's another nine grand. And the situation looks a lot healthier. You got plenty of money in the bank. You've got settlement. What's what's going on here? This is a Christian settlement. And you got a pagan general. Well, just plop that in there and take him out and it should be... Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Because that will get rid of the... Paganism is causing unrest, but also... Ah, oh, faction leader is pagan. Oh, God. Uh, you'll get rid of the no governance as soon as that um, peasant is is uh, recruited and it's unlikely that you're going to have any serious problems here for a while because it's going to take a while for the public order to come up i recommend building the christian church there it's really it'd be really good if you can unify under one religion doesn't matter which one you choose and then at mediolanium this region here is it's god damn it it's friggin ranked as christian but most of it is pagan <laughs> so what you want to do in this situation here is actually Really don't want to have to do this, but you got to get rid of this one. And actually, yeah, look how much public order it provides. It's super annoying, but you don't want to cause a revolt having, considering how difficult that was for me to actually get in there. The damage was pretty severe. Uh, one of the units of mercenary equities got wiped out. Same thing with one of the units of equities Sagittarii, but you can replace them. And this is a decent place here for you to hold the defense against them. I uh, still recommend pushing towards here. Uh, a lot of troops, maybe maybe back off. If we have a look at the financial situation, we're making about three grand a turn. So you can afford a few more troops now. All right, so this situation here is much better. It's obviously nowhere near to their former strength, but no, it, you're not on the verge of defeat. I've bought you a few more turns, essentially, before that happens. Unless you lose all this stuff straight away. Uh, you should be fine. I'd recommend sending a, a fleet over here, a small fleet. Watch out for the, the big pirate over here. Keep an eye on that. And capture the settlement because it looks like it's ready to be recaptured. And capturing Carthage is definitely not a bad idea. So this is owned by Berbers and Western Roman Empire rebels. You should be able to manage that. Iberia is also a good settlement uh, province to go and uh, capture. I wouldn't go too far north into Gaul. But that settlement there is pretty good. Any like huge settlements that you can exterminate is good. But watch out for the smaller settlements like out here. They're not really worth it. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.